Lunar authority. The only type that can have lunar authority is the reflector. And the reflector means that all of the sinners are undefined. And it means that the aura is, uh, it's, it's tough, but, but it's sampling. It's almost like a nonstick pan. It's like things kind of slide off of it, but as they slide off, it takes a little sample of each thing. Now with the reflector and the lunar-based authority, um, that means that every month, as we go through each moon cycle, there are different activations that get turned on and off in the reflector, you know, again and again, in the same unique pattern. Once you know the form, and it is, to me, I think of it like a martial arts form, like learning, you know, the, these moves as you go around the, the wheel of the hexagram. It happens every 28 days, every moon cycle, which is really cool for the reflector because you can actually start to get cues from nature. You know, you can see where the moon's at, and you can know tomorrow morning you're going to have some energy because these two centers are going to get turned on. And you may, you know, see where the moon is coming up to, and you know, for an afternoon you may become emotional because the emotions to the throat may be turned on or any various combination that comes up in the reflector's chart. So for the reflector, it's really about learning to wait that whole cycle, that whole dance, because you guys are lunar children. You're not earth people. I mean, it's kind of, you know, it's a little sci-fi in a way. Very cool to be a reflector, but you know, you need to really, really, really slow down. And you know, I mean, uh, you think of how fast the world is moving and how many people are gonna support you in waiting a month to make a decision about something. So any major decision for the reflector needs to be put into a, a you know, a basically a month cycle, a 28 day cycle with the moon. So that it can see it from all these different perspectives. You know, it needs to see it from its emotional perspective or its, you know, energetic perspective or its self perspective. The one little afternoon it has these perspectives is almost like walking around a statue, you know, as the month goes on and looking at it from different angles. And then at the end of that month, you have a clear picture of, of what that statue is. You know, it's, before that, there's no real view for you. You know, your, your view is incomplete. So if you're a reflector and you're involved in this, then you should really be into the, the transits of the moon and understand how they affect your chart. And if you just are getting, you're new to human design and just finding this, you know, you can experiment with this by just, you know, taking one decision and waiting a month on it and seeing, maybe even journaling a bit and seeing that how many different perspectives, how many times you see it totally different. Because if you're a reflector, none of this is you. You know, you're not the mental, you know, the stuff going on in your mind. You're not the need to prove yourself. You're not the need to uh, be pressured energetically. You're not emotional. The intuition's not you. None of this is you. The expression's not you. I mean, none of it. I mean, it's so trippy when I think about it because I know my open centers and I know how volatile they are in, within in my own design. I can't imagine if none of it was me, you know, and my anchor became the moon. Wow, okay. So then all of a sudden you're locked in this beautiful dance with the moon and you're using the moon as your, um, you know, it's your compass. It's the way you navigate your life. And again, you know, as you go through these lunar cycles again and again and again, you'll start to totally recognize the dance. At first it takes a little vigilance. You know, you might want to really understand the program. Um, as, as it relates to you directly and what things turn on and off. But again, you don't even need to do that. If you find out you're a reflector today and you want to start experimenting with this today and you know, you're not ready to invest a bunch of money in human design, that's totally okay. Just take a decision, ride it out for a month and see what happens. You know, maybe full moon to full moon or whatever day you discover. You know, I really uh, recommend the um, like lunar uh, calendars or uh, around the islands or around any water, you know, they have the tide calendars that usually also show the phases of the moon. You know, this could be a really helpful tool for you, you know, it really could. And um, just know that you guys are really, really different and that you're not here to be jacked up on the energy. You're here to wait out an entire lunar cycle before you make a decision. And you're here to be in awe of the program that's controlling the whole planet. And what's really fun for the reflector, as you begin to get a better understanding of human design and how this literally this stardust is coming through us and programming everything, just like a big computer program, and you look at the news and whatever the program for the day is what the headline in the news is, and it's what the headline in the paper was, and it's like, oh my God, this is a program. This is a digital program that's coming through us and, and conditioning us every day, and most people believe it's them, and they're making decisions out of it. 
And what we're asking or what we're suggesting in human design is to break free of the matrix, you know, to, to step out of the program and learn to watch. And I think what a radical view for the, ref for the reflector to stand back and watch, you know, to stand on the mountaintop and just serenade with the moon, you know, to know what it is to be a lunar creature on the earth at this time. What a magical ride, guys, you know, good luck, you know, and uh, I support you if no one else does in waiting a month to make a decision because it's the only way that you can get to your clarity and know what's correct for you. Good luck, guys.